We're here at DesignCon 2018, and one of the demonstrations that we're conducting at the show this year is a brand new product format called QSFPDD. QSFPDD basically takes existing QSFP format and doubles the number of contacts, hence doubling the number of lanes and the bandwidth and aggregate for the overall port. This has been a very extensive product development. Aside from having to just build a reliable connector, we're very focused on signal integrity. We have to provide thermal solutions for our customers. The newer generations of modules are expected to run anywhere up to 12 watts, which is very challenging to manage. And we've invested a lot of time and effort in developing the thermal solutions that we implement with these types of products. Typical markets for QSFPDD would be top of rack switches, large scale data systems. Anywhere that QSFP is used today, we expect to see a long term migration to QSFPDD. And we further support that migration with QSFPDD by providing for legacy Intermate. So this is a product that Molex is bringing to market today. We have a full range. We're developing two by ones, two by twos, developing SMT style connectors, gang cages with various solutions to offer management of the thermal properties of the modules, extremely good SI, capable of supporting speeds up to 56 gig PAM4. The demo that we're running here is actually been supported by Credo Semiconductor. And what we've been able to do is to run a one meter cable, QSFPDD, point to point, and we've been able to take one channel running at 56 gig NRZ. And this is our first proxy for achieving 112 gig data rates. In the future, they'll be taking that type of uh, bandwidth and implementing PAM4 to get to 112 gig. So we've run this system at 56 gig NRZ and run error free for an extended period of time on a one meter cable. We think that's very impressive and it shows the potential feasibility of running even higher speeds and next generations on QSF PDD. And of course, Molex will be working to improve signal integrity, EMI performance, and thermal performance continuously as we go forward with these products.